Hello, this is Haka the Bean, and today we are going to be reading the backrooms level below zero. There's a sub level to level zero. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Below zero. You've arrived at a new frontier. The blaring lights blind and deafen you and a cacophony of irritating buzzing, leading you to lose your balance. Where are you? How did you get here? Both are second and, and thoughts as the halls release you from their clutches. Just as fast as they'd lured you in. There is no footing anymore. You're starting to drop. Gravity is infinitely flooring you, sucking you down into an abyss of, devoid of light. Relieved by the absence of the annoying hum buzz. You look down into an abyss. Oh. Yeah, you're eternally fearful what awaits you momentarily at the bottom. A kaleidoscope of memories bursts like, like glass in your head, springing up a symphony of hankerings and regrets in your mind. The suspended angel is eventually brought to a close. Your great chicken and somehow alive. Thrust past the threshold of no return. Welcome to the pitfalls. The low zero's only means of entry is via pitfalls, gaping holes that appear in intimately throughout the level zero's incalculable square miles of carpet. They appear clean cut and purposeful. The ground cuts downward at a sudden 90 degree angle. Oftentimes, pitfalls will appear haphazardly and inexplicably. For example, they will ordinarily appear in front of a wander while their eyes escape their foreview. More often than not, simply beholding pitfall will lead to your arbitrary descent into it. After being subjected to several hours of uninterrupted plummeting, no matter the speed or force, one will be safely delivered into a sea, into a deep, chilly quagmire of water, which probably brings one to their senses. As expected, any given pitfall's pool will slowly shallow, allowing one to travel in any direction possible. Well, towards the tunnels. Description Anodyne Complex The Anodyne Complex acts as an, an entry point to below zero. Going across, as most similarly to the bulk of conventional levels of the back rooms. Nobly more so than almost all other environments within the pitfalls. This region takes the physical form of a complex of tent and of us, concrete its hallways, all eliminatively interconnected in a labyrinth like pattern that is notoriously simple to traverse. By trying the halls for an indeterminate amount of time, one is bound to encounter either an exit or a change in scenery. In stark contrast to Level Zero's droning fillers or resin bulbs, the anodyne complex projects a soothing, low-pitched hum that has been observed to placate wanderers and allow for more rational thinking. That being said, these bulbs have been reported to be rarely burst, causing glass shards to sprinkle the floors as a screeching pop reverberates through the halls. A look into a newfound anti-hole. The Bog the box overcrowded ocean and that contains a myriad of species propelling its many facets. The damp dirt cover of the bog gives way to numerous insects, among the threat of creatures that inhabit it, allowing them to glide peacefully along the surface of the water or hang delightfully atop their perches. Underwater lies a variety of complex plant life, all intertwined and into a trichism. What? Trichilism. Plural trichilocosms. A concept in cosmology of a third order or universe containing 1,000 second order clusters, which are made of 1,000 first order clusters, which are in turn made of 1,000 worlds each, building for the universe, used in this in instance as a hyperbole. Because that totally wasn't confusing at all. Of vines and grass, prickly vines extend their reach comprehensively comprehensive from the mouth 
out deep ocean bottom and crouching up to greet waters as they take a dip into muddy eat waters. The only source of light that beckons is a scarce few shrimps, as well as a stable population of ink blots scattered across the metal, feasting upon the several species of bugs and in its all aquatic life be, be strewn about the waters. This is really poetic. The bog may only be accessed by means of the rusted steel hatches, often that are throughout the anodyne complex at the risk of one's own survival. The bog is unsafe for human life without the use of heavy diving gear and other equipment. The bog's tight air pockets allow the acquisition of mineral oxygen during one's endeavors in midst it. Lying in its soil ceiling that lies just 10, in 10 inches above the water surface. The liquid itself is murky at best and putrid at worst, accommodating a variety of bacteria and algae to degrade. It is proposed of all, all nibblers and other amphibians that inhabit it. The only ways out are either being sucked into the overburst aquarium in the depths or returning safely for the halls from which you originated. Regurgitate safely to find your way to the only other exit. The Unfixed Passages If you traipse around for long enough within the confines of the an anodyne complex, you will be engrossed by slowly put you in a sort of rubble and beaten down walls, welcoming to a more open passage. Within its space, the Unfixed Passage holds dust and debris galore. Obliterated concrete stairs urge you down while you walk by. Lights hang haphazardly from the ceiling as they flicker inconsistently. The previous light Eiffel buzz now morphed into an ear-wrenching zapping pattern. Roots stick out from the dirt, crowding the outskirts of blown apart walls and entangling and grimacing springs as passerby ignored their warnings. The halls get tighter and tighter as one tracks on, suffocating waters and trapping them until the point of the return has been reached. From this point on, they will be left in the hands of the crooked caverns. We must crawl independently through a trying tunnel, for God has gifted us with the privilege of company. Trek onwards, for eventually you will reach the light at the end of the tunnel. We are here, and we are waiting. We understand your struggles, and we should make them our own. For your sake, stay safe until then, friend. And that was the backrooms level below zero. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, or how long my computer is going to last at this, this point. So until then, goodbye!